Guards in Dragon Street say you aided the yard. Half of White Run, I thank you. If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's call. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. I ain't done nothing. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Let's save us. Here he comes again. Hello, save us.
Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in... forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must have... Glad you're on our side. Who's you saying to Leth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on here, Leth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. I'm glad you're on our side.
already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask. Did it? You killed the dragon. You're finally here. The Yarls So what you. happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant... These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very... Disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. 
I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. May the gods watch over your battle. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Mm hmm. There has been talk amongst the gods that you are. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. Don't get what's coming. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. You there. We're looking for someone in White Rock. And we'll pay good money for information. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are sword not sword welcome here in Wycon. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A red guard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. We will find her eventually. This war is as stupid as a few. I don't claim to be looking to protect yourself or deal some damage.
Plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work. You have news of our quarry. Storm cloaks, Imperials, dragons. Ain't no matter to me what I hear. Lost friend. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Here we go. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Huh. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. Now ain't this a surprise. <laughs> Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Yes, actually. I'm not gonna ask again. Don't you walk away from me! 